Hello everyone, today I want to talk about epoxy flooring in the food industry and I'm going to start you off with this picture here. We see a commercial kitchen and he is standing on an epoxy floor. In this specific case, the customer did not want tiles, he wanted epoxy and I'm going to talk to you today why we use epoxies in the food industry. And when I say food industry, I don't just mean kitchens, I mean the entire sector and I'm going to start you off by showing a few pictures. Um, in fact, in my opinion, if you are an applicator or if you are involved in, in the installation of epoxy floors, the food industry is one of the best places you can get involved. Um, and here's an example. This is a uh, food warehouse we did a few years ago. It's in food distribution. So this customer of mine distributes to thousands of small stores and he has his big logistics facilities where he distributes to supermarkets and restaurants and hotels food so he needed an epoxy floor so he could always have his facilities clean he never had any dust in his facilities and he wanted to be able to sort of fulfill all the required standards because by having an epoxy floor you can also pass various quality standards if you are in food distribution my next example is one we showed you earlier commercial kitchens now commercial kitchens have so much wear and tear when these kitchens are busy you might have 10 people in there going back and forth and carrying things this specific commercial kitchen was from a catering facility so they had lots of production going on and you just need an epoxy floor that's going to withstand the wear and tear that after the shift is over you can easily go in and as you see now the floor looks wet you can clean it up you can spray clean it you can do whatever you have to do and then get back to work the next day it's so important that you have a facility that can easily be cleaned. And my third example is olives packaging. So in this case, they were bringing in the olives from the trees and they were processing them and then packaging them in small jars. It's a very, very messy job. And if you want to do it properly, you need a floor that can be easily be cleaned. These floors get grimy, they get oily. It's not exactly the cleanest type of floors. So we applied an epoxy floor in all of its packaging. The next example, bottling plants. I've also included drinks when I say food because it's also another area where bottling plants also need to fulfill certain standards. You can't just be producing, filling up bottles of wine. This, is, this, this example here is a bottling plant for wine. <clears throat> you cannot be using, you cannot be filling up bottles of wine and have like a horrible floor underneath. It needs to be clean. You want to have zero dust, zero chance of contamination in the food. And this is why we used epoxy in this case. Fruits and vegetable storage. Fruits and vegetables are fast moving goods. If you look at this crate here, you can see the tip of a watermelon. Um, you want to have a clean floor. Again, you do not want, you're going to be distributing these fruits. You do not want them getting dirty. And here's an interesting example, coffee processing. This customer of mine, he processes his coffee, fills up small sachets and fills up small capsules with coffee. And he wanted to the entire process of roasting the coffee and bringing it through the entire process. He wanted a clean floor. Again, he didn't want problems with the authorities. Authorities come in, they check. They don't want to see dirty floors. They don't want to see contaminated floors. They don't want to see concrete floors that have absorbed various types of food because that is a source of contamination. Before we move on, please take a moment and subscribe to this channel. If you're enjoying this video, please like it and share it with others. The longer you watch the video, the more uh, YouTube shows my videos and I can bring out more videos. So thank you very much for watching, subscribing and supporting me. So what makes epoxy so special in, in food facilities? One, and this is perhaps the best, the most important one, is it's a seamless finish. So you do not have any joints, unlike tiles, for example. You do not have any joints here, which means you have no place where dirt is being collected. If you go to a food floor with joints, you see little dirt around the joints. And what's great about this floor is you don't have those joints. Second point is, because it's epoxy, it's easily washable, it's easily cleanable. Epoxies does, do not absorb. Um, it's hard to get dirt collecting, especially if you put a self-leveling floor, and I'll talk more about self-leveling in a minute. And once, because of this floor, because it cannot absorb any bacteria, bacteria cannot survive. So it's obvious, obviously, when food falls on the floor, you're gonna, it, it, it's gonna get dirty. And if this floor could absorb, like if this was a concrete floor, 
or a typical or different type of floor and it could absorb the, um, the food, then that could just be a source of bacteria and contamination. And this is why the authorities love it. This is the most important thing. Anyone who's in the process of producing food or serving food or uh, packaging food, you need to be approved by your local health and safety authorities. Um, I know these authorities can be a pain, but they're there for a reason to make sure that no one gets food poisoning and there's no source of problems with food distribution. And authorities love walking into a facility and seeing a nice, clean epoxy floor. Believe me, I see it all the time. I have customers who tell me ever since I got my epoxy floor fixed, the authorities stopped bothering me. Now, self-leveling epoxy is the gold standard when you apply in food industry. I do not recommend applying roller applied paint. Self-leveling epoxy is the gold standard. Here's an example of a tomato distribution warehouse. Notice how clean the floor is. Notice how flat it is. So if you get any sort of dirt, you can immediately clean it. What makes self-leveling different? It's a thicker product, so you don't have a small layer. It's a thicker layer, which means it won't crack as easily. It won't break as easily. Two is you have a smooth finish. You do not have a roller applied finish, like a textured finish. Um, you should only have a textured finish if it's in a facility like I mentioned before, olives or meat processing where it gets really oily and you need the texture for anti-slip and safety reasons. Otherwise, always go for a smooth finish. Um, another great thing with self-leveling epoxy, it's a 100% solids, which means there are no solvents contained. This is important, especially when you are applying the product. Obviously, when you are applying, you do not want any food in the area. Obviously, you're still working with chemicals, but it's also better to not be working with products that work that contain solvents when you are producing um, per, when, when you are producing food. Um, it is a higher cost product and I always recommend, as I said, at least one to two millimeters. Uh, another point I want to show you here, this is coved, a coved finish. So a great thing with epoxy is you can actually combine and make a, an epoxy cove around, around the edge. And that makes it easier to clean around the edges because a lot of times you get dirt and bacteria in the, in the corners. In fact, a lot of times authorities ask for this, especially if you are in production and you, you, you need to wash the floor regularly. We always recommend that you cove the sides and you can also paint the sides. In this case, we've got walls on the, uh, we've got tiles on the walls, but you can also paint the walls with epoxy. So you can have a continuous floor, a self-leveling floor, a coved finish, and then a wall that is also coated with epoxy. Anyway, this is a product I recommend. It's the product, full disclosure, that this is a product my company produces, Ktizo Floor. I'll post a link below. Um, we are we sell it in Europe and the Middle East right now. If you are outside the Europe or Middle East, you may need to order larger quantities. We can't just ship. This is epoxy. You can't just ship like one or two uh, tubs across the world because we can't put them on planes. But just so you know, this is a product available. Before I leave you, you can also check out our online course. We have a great online course everything epoxy how to uh, how to install epoxy floors and uh, what to look out for it's a step-by-step -step course we go through all types of epoxy floors you will definitely want to check this out thank you very much for watching and i'm going to post a few videos uh, that are related to what i talked to you about today uh, thank you very much